Okay, so now I'm going to watch a group that has my favorite single song that has been released this year. Um, so I'm very excited for this comeback. This is Whiplash by Espa. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, this is sick. She looks so good. Whoa. Over hair. Is this the chorus? Oh my god, the horns. Whoa, their makeup. Bro. Oh, she's so cute. <gasps> the blonde. This is the chorus. Oh, she looks so good. Their makeup looks. Ooh. Ooh. Sing. Oh, she sounds so good. They took like their kind of like gay club music hyper pop and really went ham. <laughs> If this choreo doesn't have some voguing, I'm gonna be surprised. We haven't seen a ton of the choreo either, besides this. That was insane. So Espa though, and that's what I love about their team. They know exactly what they needed, but that was crazy. As like a title track too, because that's what this is, or unless it's a pre-release, but wow. I'm surprised this is what they took, but it is very Espa. It's just not a lot of singing in this song. And I think that, like, the the pre-chorus, especially that second verse pre-chorus, oh, that was beautiful with um, Ning Ning and then Karina. Th that was gorgeous. And we definitely had some singing. It's just a very talky song. I th don't think I was expecting that. But, I mean, Supernova was huge in Korea, right? And, I mean, internationally as well brought them a lot of success. But this isn't quite Supernova either. So they're still, again, on that kind of hyper poppy, whatever, um, trend. This just very much seems like something you're jumping <laughs> and singing in a club. Maybe that's just me, but very interesting song for them to do. Anyways, I don't think I ever introduced myself. Hi, guys. I'm Shayla. I've reacted to every single asterisk um espa like music video if you want to go watch that video that one was really fun plus i've done specific videos on their like armageddon supernova comeback i've listened to that album 
Um, I've wa watched like the drama music video when that came out and that's what really set me on this Espa kind of path. And now I'm like, I'm fascinated where this is kind of going because I don't know. This is what I expected, but in a darker way that I didn't expect. And I really enjoy that though, because the darker shit is more my thing. Like drama and Armageddon are like two of my favorite songs of their like respective years that they were released in and whiplash I can tell already is just going to be a song I play a lot so I'm I'm happy they're continuing to go down this kind of like darker sound but it's fascinating to me yeah anyways we're going to watch this again I'm going to pause and uh showcase some specific parts that I really enjoyed and just experience this. this. That was only three minutes. It felt longer, which I like. Yeah. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just had a timer go off. My bad, my bad. But yeah, let's listen to Whiplash again. Let's go. <laughs> Another thing. Sorry I stopped it so soon, but... Okay, first of all, that bass. Second of all, this is such a cool music video. Such a cool music video. And I think, like, Espa has really been taking the cake recently. Like, again, drama. Armageddon was an insane music video. And now this. Like, they're so high concept. Like, very different than what you usually see in like a k-pop music video and i love that i love how into the concept the whole creative team is it's so refreshing oh the cg yeah. oh these angles oh this intro the way she says day one no i've been bad oh my god she looks so good Oh my god, girl, you can't look at me like that. I think in some of these, they're doing more, um, like, traditional, I think, Korean, like, K-pop star makeup. Um, very dewy, usually lighter on the eyes. And then some of the scenes, they have, like, more, like, I would say, Americanized um, makeup, especially with their eye makeup. There's a lot of, like, dark, like, smoky eye, brown, black used, which you don't see a ton in, um, at least in my experience in the last couple generations of K-pop, um, it's kind of making me wonder if there's been a little bit of a throwback towards, like, because I know, like, Second Gen had a bit more, like, heavier around the eyes. That was kind of more the thing at the time. Um, if that's c becoming a little bit of a throwback or if it's just, like, you know, they wanted to try something new. But I'm really enjoying it. I think... The, the, the one that comes to mind specifically, I mean, this Karina look that we're about to look at, but also, um, Winter's, like, crimped hair and her makeup there, that, like, reminds me of, like, when I was a kid watching, like, Beauty Influencers. And the lashes, too. Like, look at that eye makeup on Ning Ning. Oh, this looks so beautiful. I'm obsessed with the makeup choices they did. And it looks like they have some, like, contour and actual, like, um, bronzer going on potentially, too, which looks really cool. Ooh, the eyeliner. Oh. 
she sounds so cute. I'm sorry, going from Giselle being like the fiercest badass motherfucker, and then Winter's like whip whip blast. She's so cute. It reminds me of Next Level. The way she says Next Level, I'm always like, oh, you're adorable. That's the look, that blonde one. Do you think that maybe that's part of the concept? Because one look of Whiplash, like it's supposed to be like two very like jarringly different versions of themselves. And th we also get that with the um, Winter's two different hair colors. Don't you know and now we have a, we, that whole thing was in a white kind of box. And now we suddenly have like an outside set, which is like completely Whiplash from the rest of the music video that we had just experienced. Wow. <laughs> See that makeup. Wow. So cool. This part. Oh, yes. That's one of the best parts. This fucking editing? That was crazy. Oh my god. Hey. God, the way she fucking kills this chorus, Giselle. <laughs> Here we get some more singing in the bridge. Oh. Wow, the choreo. Wow. Oh, I love how they cut out a little bit and then everything drops back in with that bass. This part. Oh, that was so sick. Also, this styling is so good. Wow. I am so impressed. Like, so unbelievably impressed. I, if I'm being honest, I don't think it's... If I have to, like, choose a favorite from this year, Armageddon is still gonna get it. I think that's, like, might be one of the best k songs of all time. Like, that is such an iconic song. But, so I wasn't really expecting to go into this being like, oh, they're going to make a better song than Armageddon. Did they make a song that's better than Supernova? In my opinion, yeah. <laughs> I genuinely think this is such an interesting move for them. The whole concept of it all, so fucking cool. Oh, it just makes me so excited for what Espa is doing next. And I'm so glad that they started moving in this direction. Like, I was always aware of them kind of in my peripheral as, like, a K-pop fan. And then, like, hearing about drama, seeing that kind of, like, impact, and then seeing that road there go down, and then having, like, Armageddon be, again, like, the best release this year, in my opinion. And now to see them continuing doing something that I'm super, super interested in. I don't know. It makes me so excited for their future. So, oh, yeah, that's, 
I don't know what else to say. That was so, so sick. I cannot wait to watch the live performances. I already have a video up on my Patreon reacting to the live performances of each of their solo stages and a video reacting to their solo songs. So go watch both of those. Enjoy my Patreon. If you'd like to see more Esper reactions, I'm so excited to watch more of these. And I'm not sure, is there an album too? Because I might need to react to that sooner rather than later. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this comeback as much as I did. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.